गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम कमल किशोर अग्रवाल फ्रॉम होली आर्ट्स एजुकेशन अकेडमी मूविंग अ हेड फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ स्टडीज अकाउंटेंसी एज वी हैव स्टार्टेड द इंट्रोडक्शन क्लास टूडे आई एम गोइंग द नोट्स एज वेल एज प्रेजेंटेशन कंसर्न सर्टेन थिंग्स विच विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द टॉपिक पार्टनरशिप सो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम हियर and i am presenting the notes also so that you can prepare the notes as continuing the presentation goes on so as you can see in partnership concern as per indian partnership act 1932 section 4 defines the partnership as partnership is the relationship between a person means two or more person who agree to share the profit of a business carried on by all or any of them acting for all it means it is the relationship between two or more person who agree to share the profit and loss according to deed as well as business carried by all or any of them act for all so after seeing this you have to know the essentials of partnership what are the essential features of partnership there should be two or more person agreement should be in written or oral way it should be formed to do a lawful business they must share profit and loss as per deed or agreement carried by all or any of them acting for all now i have said regarding the deed now what do you mean by partnership deed it is a written document or written agreement in which terms and condition of partnership are mentioned it is important to avoid it is why partnership deed is important because to avoid the dispute among the partner to settle the dispute by seeing this agreement and it also governs the rights duty and liability of each partner me it in this deed rights duty and liability of each partner are clearly defined now question arise is it is essential to have partnership deed for running business answer is no as i have mentioned deed is essential for running partnership business answer i have written no it is not essential but desirable to have partnership deed if deed is not there then provision of indian partnership act 1932 will be applied so students as a notes you can prepare this now second topic i am moving ahead that is important question that might comes in your board exam state the provision of indian partnership act 1932 in absence of partnership deed i am underlining the absence word if deed is not mentioned then what are the provision provided so profit and loss first point you can see profit and loss are shared equally by the partner interest on capital it is not paid to the partner interest on drawing is not charged from partner interest on loan is paid at the rate 6% you should remember this for i o l interest on loan is paid at the rate 6% interest on capital interest on drawing is not paid but interest on loan is charged at 6% salary commission is not paid to any partner yes students all these five points are concerned with the provision of indian partnership act 1932 in absence of partnership deed now you can see in the note i have written remember that interest on loan concerned interest on partner loan is charged against the profit it means interest is payable if even if there is a loss in business so remember that it is charged against profit means it is the part of p and l account it is the part of p and l account it is shown on the debit side as we have done in final accounting now coming to the topic that is p and l and p and l account what is the difference between profit and loss account and profit and loss appropriation account after reading this i will uh, jot down the ledger that you have prepared in final account last year okay so in p and l account it is prepared after trading account as we all know p and l account helps in knowing the net profit of the firm p and l account there is no need of partnership deed while preparing p and l account matching principle is followed means revenue and expense are match then only profit or loss you can gain so p and l account is concerned with firm p and l appropriation again i am coming it is concerned with partnership business in partnership business we have to prepare p and l appropriation account so students as you can see 
that it is prepared after making P and L account. It shows distribution of net profit among the partner. It is prepared after making P and L account. It shows distribution of net profit among the partner. Means whatever the profit comes from P and L account, it will be going to be transfer to P and L appropriation account. And according to deed, it is going to distributed among the partner as per deed. There is no need of partnership deed. Yes, this is the main question which all students should listen while preparing P and L appropriation account. There is a need of partnership deed or provision provided by Indian Partnership Act 1932. It means in P and L account there is no need is needed, but in P and L appropriation account there is a need of partnership deed, and matching principle is not followed in this P and L appropriation. So this is the difference between P and L and P and L appropriation. Now I am moving ahead to the P and L appropriation account. P and L appropriation account is the extension of profit and loss account. If you see, P and L appropriation is the extension of profit and loss account. It is prepared after P and L account. It shows the appropriation of net profit. It means it shows the distribution of net profit amongst the partner for accounting year. Now, I have made certain thing that is in last year you have made trading account, P and L account, and balance sheet in your final accounting. Trading account helps in knowing the gross profit of the firm. P and L account helps in knowing the net profit of the firm. In balance sheet, capital we add on this net profit. Now this is the process of sole proprietor business. Means accounting system in sole proprietor business because single seller enjoy the whole profit. But here in partnership business, when I say what partnership. Accounting system. In this system, here P and L appropriation account is prepared. Means this ledger has to be prepared between the profit and loss and balance sheet. Means P and L appropriation account is prepared. In next session, we will discuss about the ledger, how to prepare the P and L appropriation account and solve the numerical. Thank you, students, for your cooperation. Thank you students. So we will meet in next session. Thank you.